Hi, um, this is going to be my first tutorial. It's going to be very basic. Um, I just want to cover two things. Um, there are two popular trends that you're going to see for winter 2012. Uh, one of which being red lips, which is very classic. Um, and another um, style that we're all familiar with, and that's the cat eye. Um, but instead of having it come out to a nice delicate point, we're actually going to square it off. So I'll be doing red lips um, and a squared off cat eye. Um, I have already done one side, so you can kind of know what you're getting yourself into um, with the eyeliner. And I already have on my foundation, and I already have done my eyebrows and everything, so we're just going to jump right in. Um, for this look, I prefer to use a liquid eyeliner. Pencil will smudge more, at least for me it always does. Um, the thing with liquid eyeliner is you need to make sure you have a lot of control and have a steady hand so it doesn't look too messy and get all over your eyelid. Um, so for me, I have very hooded eyelids. Um, as in, this part of my eyelid that's closest to my lash line gets kind of tucked away whenever I open my eyes. So a heavy liner does not look good on me. It's not flattering. So I always um, just line my eyes about halfway and drag it out, you are more than welcome to start from the very uh, inner corner of your eye. It's going to have the same effect. So um, to start out, I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner. I'm using e.l.f. product. Um, it's only a dollar at Target. It works just as good as any other liquid eyeliner I've ever used. Um, and so I'm going to start halfway at, my eye, at the bottom of my eyelid and just bring it across my lashes. And you're going to bring it out to about just as far as you would a normal cat eye. And then you're literally just going to drop it straight down. Now I like to bring mine down about a little bit below the corner of, my, um, of the outside of my eye. And then taper it just off into the inside. And then fill in the rest. And you want to make sure you get it nice and smooth so it looks really classy. So once you have it squared off, um, it looks kind of odd if you don't kind of merge it with your bottom um, eyelid just a little bit. So I'm just very slightly going to connect it to the bottom lash line and then kind of just have it fade out. So simple enough. Um, and then you're gonna add your mascara. Um, I just started using um, Maybelline's The Falsies Volume Express. It works great on vol volumizing your eyelids um, or your eyelashes, so it's not a bad product at all, and I have really long eyelashes, um, and it has a curved brush, so it's easier for me to get all of them without getting makeup all over my eyes. So, you're just gonna put on mascara like you normally would. Now, if you're like me with really long eyelashes, it's so easy to get mascara on your eyelid if you're trying to get your entire thing. And I used to be the kind of person who'd always just try to wipe it right off, but I found it's a lot easier to leave it and let it dry and then put your concealer just right over top of it. And then on the bottom, um, I just like to do, I don't like heavy, um, like mascara on my bottom lid, it just makes my eyes look really just weird. Um, I think it's a more delicate approach when you're not putting mascara on your entire bottom um, eyelid. So I'm just going to do right above where we put the eyeliner. And have it kind of fade off. So this should basically be your finished product for your eyelids. Um, I'll take my little bit of concealer, just a small bit, 
and cover it right over those spots. So the next um, is the red lips and I am going to be using Revlon's um, Super Lustrous Lipstick um, and this is the style number 725 Love That Red. Um, it's a very true red. Uh, it's not the darker kind of red or an orangier tint. It's, it's very true to color. So I'm just going to put this on. And the trick to doing very bold colors um, is to be as careful as possible. Because it's going to show up a lot more. So after I put on the lipstick, um, I like to also put on kind of a gloss. Sometimes I, look, I like more of a matte finish and sometimes I like you know, more of a shine. Um, so if you like shine, I'm just feeling in the mood for today. I'm actually going to go over it with Hard Candy brand. Um, I'm not sure what exact color it is, but it's their Glossaholic um, line. And um, it's basically a clear gloss with like a, a slightly red tint, but very sheer. And it's got glitter in it. So um, I really personally love it. So, now you have the lips done, and you have your eyes done. So really, um, other little extra things that you could always do, um, I always add blush. It's kind of fading now. Um, just, I have a very round face, so sometimes I like to have more like contour lines to give myself a little more structure. Um, and then if you want, for me, I think that less is more whenever you have red lips. But you could do a neutral um, eyeshadow just to maybe give yourself a little bit of a shadow throughout your crease. Um, or highlight your brow bones, things like that. But definitely don't want to do anything too drastic with your eye makeup if, if you're going to have a red lip. 